All right, welcome back to another edition of Operations and Changing the Operations because mathematicians are lazy and they just made up subtraction and division. <clears throat> All right, so if we have a division problem, let's say eh, 12 divided by, whoop, my screen is moving on me. There we go. 12 divided by 6. What we really are doing is we're taking 12 and we're multiplying the reciprocal of 6. So that's kind of a big word, so I'm going to write it over here. And what reciprocal means is you're just simply going to flip the number. So if it's 8, the reciprocal would be 1 over 8. Because every number, every whole number can be written over 1. If we have 3 fourths, the reciprocal of 3 fourths would be 4 thirds. So every time we see division problem, we want to think multiply by the reciprocal of da, 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 whatever the number is. So in this case, we have 12 times the reciprocal of 6, which would be 1 over 6. And if we were to actually, you know, multiply that out, when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. So we'd have 12 over 6. And notice that it is just a fraction problem. So if you've ever heard a teacher in the past say that fraction problems are just division problems, or vice versa, this is why. Because fractions are division problems. Notice I'm not actually solving the problem. I don't actually have an answer. I'm just rewriting it. Just like we did with the addition and the subtraction. I just want you to practice rewriting. So let's do some problems. So remember, when we see division, let me move this down. When we see division, it equals multiply by the reciprocal. Okay. So we have 36 divided by 6, which is really 36 times the reciprocal of 6, which would be 1 6. And then we're going to rewrite it as 36 over 6. Okay, and this is all we're doing. We're not actually finding the answer because the actual answer to this would be 6. I just want you to practice rewriting it and practice writing with fractions. 2, we have 63 divided by 9. So it's 63 times the reciprocal of 9, which would be 63 over 9. I would encourage you to pause the video and try. All right, let's take a look at number three. We have four divided by two, but remember every time we see that division, we want to think about multiply by the reciprocal. So we have four multiplied by the reciprocal of two, which would be one over two. And if we simplify that, it would be four over two. Again, I would encourage you to pause the video and try these before I get to them. 24 divided by 4 would be 24 times the reciprocal of 4, which would be 1 over 4, simplified to 24 over 4. Number 5. We have 15 divided by negative 5. Now, unlike with the subtraction and addition, that negative doesn't affect our multiplication or division at all. The negative stays with the value. So we really have 15 times the reciprocal of negative 5. So it would be times the reciprocal of negative 1 over, or times negative 1 over 5. If we simplified that, we would have negative 15 over 5. 
Here we have 36 divided by negative 9, which would be 36 times the reciprocal of negative 9, which would be negative 1 over 9. Simplified that, it'd be negative 36 over 9. And where you write the negative sign doesn't really matter. We just typically write it with the top number. Um, it only matters if you have two negative signs, which, oh, wow. Right on Q, number 7 has two negative signs. So we have negative 14 times the reciprocal of negative 2, which would be negative 1 over 2. And if we simplify that, we have a negative times a negative, which would be a positive. So the negative goes away. And last, ne negative 81 times the reciprocal of 9. If we simplified that, we had negative 81 over 9. And again, I'm not actually finding the answers to these. I just want you to practice rewriting them. You're like, hey, Ms. Bauer, what if we have a fraction already? Well, let's make some problems up over here. Let's say we have... 25 divided by 5 halves. Well, that division, I know it's cut off the screen, but we're multiplying by the reciprocal. So 25 times the reciprocal of 5 over 2, which would be 2 fifths. And if we were to simplify this, 25 times 2 is 50. If you have 2 quarters, you have 50 cents over 5. Well, what if the first number is a fraction? All right, let's go 3 fourths divided by 1 half. Well, whenever we see that division sign, we have 3 fourths times the reciprocal, which would be 2 over 1. Simplify that, 3 times 2 is 6 over 4. Let's do a couple more. Again, I would encourage you, pause the video. Try it before I, I do it. So let's give you 2 fifths divided by eh, 5 sixths. I'm going to give you a second. Try it on your own. Just rewriting it as a multiplication problem. All right, so we would have 2 fifths times the reciprocal of 5 sixths, which would be 6 fifths. And if we were to simplify it, 2 times 6 is 12, 5 times 5 is 25. And that would be our answer. Again, if we have negative signs, it doesn't matter. Let's go 1 8 divided by negative um, 3 4. So we have 1 8 times the reciprocal of negative 3 fourths, so it would be negative 4 thirds. And if we were to simplify that, multiply straight across, we have negative 4. 8 times 3 would be 24. So a reciprocal does not affect the negativity or the positivity of a number. Reciprocal is simply taking the numerator and putting it in the denominator, and taking the denominator and putting it in the numerator. And again, on your assignment today, you're going to just be rewriting. I'm not expecting you to actually answer the problems. We will get into actually answering problems in later lessons. But today we're just practicing rewriting. So happy mathing!